This video demonstrates part diameter detection using the 10 mm array from Panasonic SunX. The HLT1 series is made up of the high function controller, shown here, as well as through beam laser heads. Here is the through beam portion. On the left side is the emitter, and on the right side is the detector. Here you can see the 10 mm wide beam projected onto a business card. The main display on the controller defaults to readout in millimeters. To the left side of the display are the three output indicators, high, pass, and low. The sub-display reads out the threshold values. When the switch is set to H, it reads out the high threshold value, and when the switch is set to L, it reads out the lower threshold value. To get into the menu mode, slide the switch from Run over to function FUN. In this demonstration the sensor will be set for auto scaling. Because the laser has a 10 mm wide beam the scaling will be set for 10-D. This means that the display will go from 0 to 10 mm depending on how much of the beam is blocked. To set up the threshold value Move the bottom selector switch to THR for threshold adjustment. When the switch is on H, you can go in and adjust the high end threshold. And when the switch is on L, you can adjust the low end threshold. For this demo, the threshold is set to pass the part if the diameter is between 9 and 9.59 millimeters. In this video, there are three roller bearings. The one closest to the camera is upside down and the diameter is smaller than the 9 mm threshold. The one in the middle is right side up and passes because it is between 9 and 9.59 mm. The third bearing furthest from the camera is also right side up, but it is too large of diameter and fails the inspection. You'll notice that when the center bearing is in the field of view of the sensor, the pass output indicator turns on. For more information on the HLT1 laser and 